Two decades ago, a videotape of police beating a black man named Rodney King helped trigger the Los Angeles riots. Today, video recording technology is becoming so ubiquitous that it casts doubt on the accounts of policemen around the U.S. on an almost daily basis. The shooting of an unarmed black man by a white policeman in South Carolina, captured by an onlooker in this powerful video, helped to lead to murder charges against the officer on April 7th and added new vigor to calls to require body cameras on all law enforcement officers. It was one of many incidents around the country in recent days in which video evidence contradicted claims by law enforcement officials and led to investigations or charges. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department placed 10 deputies on paid administrative leave on Friday for their involvement in a man's beating following a high-speed chase in northern Los Angeles. A video of the incident taken from a news helicopter on Thursday shows deputies punching and kicking the man. In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, earlier this week, an officer was charged with battery and falsifying a police report after this video surfaced online showing him slapping a homeless man. And in New York City this month, an NYPD detective was suspended after this surveillance video appeared to show him pocketing more than $2,500 during a raid at a bodega that was allegedly selling untaxed cigarettes. Protesters at the North Charleston City Hall this week argued that without the video, Officer Michael Slager may not have been quickly charged with murder in the shooting of Walter Scott following a traffic stop. Mindful that video can always surface, many police departments are now regularly reminding officers that their actions are being watched. But some law enforcement experts believe video alone cannot serve as a deterrent, and police need to use such encounters to re-examine policies and training. In New York in August 2014, Weeks after video surfaced showing an NYPD officer using an apparent chokehold that led in part to the death of Eric Garner, officers received a memo that citizen videotaping is not illegal. The Eric Garner video spurred a public outcry, including calls from New York City's Mayor Bill de Blasio to improve relations between law enforcement and the community. Law enforcement organizations say they realize that video is more prevalent than ever. And each example of misbehavior has a negative effect on relations between police and the community.